Good luck. All right, let's go with Old Faithful here. Central Fall Rooks never let us down, except when I've let it down. I almost played Pawn 5-5 five five here, just out of impulse. Maybe a bit jumpy at the moment. All right. So, one thing we learned yesterday, yeah, yesterday in fact, is that it is possible to play my silver up into 6-6 six, six here instead of 4-6. Um, and we'll take a look in just a second at what this looks like. If indeed I feel like bringing it out that far. So... There might be something about this shape that nobody's told me, I guess? I don't know. Um... I mean, this looks like a fine shape to me. Let's cut their bishop out. So, this is one fewer piece for me to worry about at present. Um, oh goodness, this is not my day. <laughs> uh, that would have been one exciting gambit here. I did not do that on purpose, but it might have been okay. I did not plan that out very thoroughly, and we'll have to revisit that in just a second. Uh, but yeah, that could have been a bit embarrassing. I'm not trying to play anything provocative on purpose, other than Central Fall Rook, which in its nature is a bit more aggressive than other openings, but... Um, yeah, let's get our king into half Mino castle. And then play, hopefully, a normal game. Um, yeah, it's not my object to try to... Uh, taking an edge on the clock. It's just got, I got a bit excited when I accidentally gambited the pawn here. And maybe it was fine, maybe it's not fine. But, um, yeah, we won't know until after the game. So we don't have to worry about it until then. It's a really interesting idea. Because with the king... Isolated here on 5-9. If they did end up taking this pawn, my silver steps aside and I'm hitting the center pawn. Um, or my silver steps forward with a threat of hitting the rook next turn. And the bishop moves and then move the silver and then I could play rook takes pawn next. But probably end up losing my silver. Or getting their rook in a very interesting position. Um... Right. So, the proverb is push the odd file pawns. And this file looks pretty odd to me. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to push my edge pawn this game. Usually you do end up pushing it. But, um... I'm thinking I just want to attack directly on files 8 and 7 here. So, I'm going to bring the bishop out, knight out, um, push this pawn on the 8th file, and see what happens. Um, and what kind of motivates me to do this is that my bishop up here hits the square that only the rook is hitting. Um, and yeah, it's tempting to swat the rook. Um, but you know, let's just play a sensible 
piece or sensible move to activate another piece. So this stops any rook in front of the king tricks that might somehow spring a counterattack. Um, I guess the counterpoint to this is that maybe there is some trick where they move their rook to hit this pawn, and then my silver has to deal with it. Well, there's not any more. There might have been some trick. Um... They have a pawn in hand, which means I can't get too fancy. And if I'm careless, they do form Yagra here, so maybe I need to stop that. At the expense of blocking my bishop. Um... Hmm. I don't know if they try to build it, if I push here, pawn takes, bishop takes, hits this. I don't know. Is there some other way I can hit? Oh, I could push on the eighth file, but then their silver comes up to stop me from hitting that way. Yeah. This is curious. The bishop hitting the square is never that strong anyway. So if I push the third or the seventh foul pawn, they push eighth. I push eighth, and eventually I push here again. I think it works out. This is preferable to allowing Yagra. So let's give this a shot. <laughs> And then I can just push on the king's file directly. I'm not seeing their counterattack. So we'll see it when it's too late. Um, but now this is still interesting. Right, so they moved up the silver with the intent of moving it again. And this is where they wanted to move it? Ah. <sighs> Well, this looks a bit familiar, doesn't it? Looks almost exactly like the game we shared on Sunday. Um, not understanding the purpose of this. And yeah, I've got weak squares. Who doesn't? If I allow a bishop exchange, I'm threatening a bishop drop here to hit the lance. Um, it's not so threatening, it's easily dealt with. Hmm. I don't have any really cheeky threats here. My silver hitting this rook is kind of cute, but... Uh, if the rook moves over to the side of the board or to my king's head, this is a bit tricky. Um, hmm. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? If I push my silver here, they push this pawn. I push the center pawn, they take my silver, I take here, they take my bishop, I take their gold. Wait, it doesn't turn out that way because we exchange bishops first, but um, they take my silver, I take here and promote. They have an extra silver to deal with me. Their gold runs back. I only have a bishop in hand and no tricky forks. Um, 
Yeah, there's no tricks for me here. I just have to play a nice clean game. Understanding that their rook cannot simultaneously be on the side that their king's on and be over here hitting my silver. The rook has to pick one side or the other. Um, and while it's on one side or the other, if they push pawns in between, that further limits the rook's scope. All right, this is strange. This is so strange. Why would they do this? If my silver moves up, they swing the rook over. I swing my rook over. They bring their rook all the way back here? I don't know. Like, why bring the bishop into harm's way? Unless the idea is to somehow promote it eventually. Man. Oh, my golds do not defend each other. So before I do anything too tricky, I do need to make some defense. Yeah, I don't understand this. I want to understand, so we're going to play this and see what they come up with. Um... Yeah, this is just very surprising. This bishop, rook, silver. I don't get it. It would make sense if they had another pawn here and were actively breaking my castle, but that has not occurred. And if the rook goes all the way over here, I can bring my rook over to deal with it. So... And if they kick my silver with a pawn, the rook has to decide which half of the board it's on. I think I'm doing okay here. Pretty sure I'm doing just fine. Unless there's some nasty, nasty trick here that I've missed. But I just don't see it. Maybe even better was for me to push the center pawn and really mess things up. Or maybe that's coming soon. This is so, so weird. I mean, if I push the center pawn, they have like bishop drops that promote. Um, which maybe I can deal with. It's not common for me to be able to deal with it so easily. Hmm, I don't know. But yeah, now that I've lined up my bishop and rook, there's no pawn 5-6 trick. Uh, uh, what? I guess they're intending to line up their rook with my bishop. Okay. I mean, it's not terrible for them to do that. I'm not sure why I, I would encourage it. Uh, other than I don't want their rook immediately behind this pawn. That would be spooky. Yeah. I'd like to put my knight up here. That would... Mm, it's not useful. I'd like it, but it's not useful. Yeah, let's push here. So they're no longer going to break on the left side of the board. I could push the center pawn and then chase the bishop. Or rather, 
by pushing the center pawn encourages the bishop exchange. And then they drop a bishop and promote, and I find some way to promote, and it's super awkward. Um, maybe I have better. Um, I could chase the silver. What would happen if I were to chase it? And it ran, and I chased the bishop, and the bishop ran. Oh, they'd be attacking 5-5. Five five. Um, it's maybe not so bright for me. If I chase the silver and then exchange silvers here, bishop takes. I could put a silver somewhere, hit the knight. It's not great. Um... Hmm. Wait, why am I not just... If I push this pawn, that puts a lot of pressure on their rook to hold this until the silver can go up to defend it. Um... I have no tricks here. It's unfortunate. Well, maybe I've got a trick. Yeah, if I push this pawn... Wait, do I want to push this first? If I push this, if the rook takes... No, that's not the threat here. Yeah, that... In no situation does this pawn push ever profit. Um, I'm uncomfortable because of this pawn drop on file 3. But I shouldn't worry about that. Um... Yeah, I think most logical is for me to just pursue an attack on this side of the board with all my pieces. It's a slow, gradual attack, but it looks effective. So... Oh, right. Yeah, I was modestly afraid they'd put the rook behind this pawn. Um, that's why I was pining for some kind of insanity. That's right, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, it's fine. My king will be fine. Everything's a okay. Nothing's on fire just yet. But boy, what a tense position. I just don't see the knight advancement being useful. Um. Okay, I don't see that being useful either. Okay, that's because I lack an imagination. Um, now I see it. It's clever. Uh, so... Hmm. I could hit the silver and allow the... No, that's disgusting. Um... Hmm. All right, we'll play things his way. This is not great for me. What they should do is just bring the rook over, understanding that the pawn is theirs. 
This is not necessary. I don't understand the point of this anymore. There is a point, I just... What could it be? I guess maybe they expected me to use my king. Okay, I kind of have to take this. Oh, this is the point. Very nice. Um. Hmm. Interesting. All right, fine. You get uh, the silver. That's okay. It's not my finest tactical moment ever, but uh, I should survive this. Um, I'm not just going to let this rook be idle the entire game, so let's put it down immediately. Although this might encourage them to defend their knight. But if this bishop goes all the way back to defend the knight, I can still promote the rook. Um, we get some interesting, some kind of skirmish going on here. I could also threaten to do rook takes gold. I don't know if that ever profits me. Right. So... I think my plan is to just attack fiercely here. I am in time pressure, and I mean... That's an excuse. But I would like to make time for a post-game analysis afterwards, so I'm blitzing a little bit. Um, understanding my opponent's in a different time zone, so... Um, is this a good idea? I don't know. It will make some time for post-game analysis. I'm not sure... I guess what I'm intending is to promote my rook over here and hit the silver. I think this will be acceptable. Like, it'd be ideal if I could promote some other way and not give up a rook. I just don't see it. Um, yeah, we're just going to go here directly. Hmm. They could put a piece between my rooks, couldn't they? Yeah, that hurts a bit. I could stick a pawn right there, and I get a like a pawn and a knight or something for my rook. Uh, could be worse. Somehow. Well, if I t yeah, if they fork my rooks, I can take the silver or drop a silver here to hit both bishops. Um, oh, but then one goes back to hit my rook, and my rook goes over to... I don't know. It's not worth it. Yeah. Nicely done.
Hmm. Well, we have to play the hand we're dealt. Um. Yeah, my rook can't go anywhere else. So let's go ahead and take this. And they do say never run from a fork, so... What does my opponent do when I fork them? I guess their idea is to hit my rook. It's fairly easily trapped. Oh right, they can give up their less powerful bishop for this. That makes sense. I still get a bishop. But I wasted a turn collecting this, which I might not even be able to use. Um, yeah, finding a place to use my bishop is tricky here. So my immediate threat is to pick up a piece in the corner and promote my rook. Um, yeah, they should hit the base of my castle soon. And I might have to put a pawn to really cement this castle while they start taking everything else. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. I don't have a way to defend it all. So this has to go here. This is not going to hold forever. Um, it's not going to hold very long at all, but it's better than nothing. Um, oh, I was tempted to Nifu right here. That would not be a good use of a move. Yeah, let's just promote the Rook. Uh, promotion might serve some useful purpose at some point. Um, but also with their rook lined up with this file on their or lined up with their king, it's very difficult to find any way to attack here. Yeah, if they did some careless move, I would try to put my bishop on the 5-5. Five five. Um, well? Well? I have a chance to promote my bishop. I should seize it before this chance passes me by. Um, hmm. I want to seize it, but I don't see a point. Yeah, it's better for me to just attack this directly and then use my knight to hit this gold. My attack is a thousand miles away from their castle, but it could be worse. And if they take the pawn, then I could threaten to use my knight to take back and take the gold. But the gold will move away as soon as I hit it. Um, alternatively, like I could somehow threaten to use the bishop. I don't really see how. Or I could put another pawn here, which is my backup plan. I don't think that gets very far either. I'm just massively outnumbered, so I need some sort of Hail Mary to get me out of this. Um,
30秒40秒 Yeah, this is oh shit. They could just put a silver down. Maybe that's not where they want to put a silver, but um a silver or a knight on the square is actually pretty effective. Um If they put a knight there, I could put a pawn here, and knight takes pawn is actually well it doesn't mate. Um it's worth considering, but yeah, their attack is very fast, and mine is very not fast. I'm trying to attack and defend at the same time, but their moves land with so much more power. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, there is one thing I can do. I can hit this knight and see how they react. I was offering a bishop exchange. I think a bishop or a silver drop here would have been stronger than the knight drop, but this is still pretty strong. <laughs> so I'm allowing these pieces to swarm my king in the hopes that somehow it'll be okay. Ultimately, it's not good, but short-term, things might temporarily be fine. If I can take this knight, they won't be able to use a knight to attack. Uh, at least until they take this knight. All right, and we need to remove this bishop over here. And the only way I see to do that is by capturing the knight. Um, this will displace my silver. Uh, so I'll, Well, they can't drop a bishop here to hit my knight and rook, thankfully. Um, yeah, all their tricky bishop drops here seem to be covered. Still, it's going to be difficult to escape this. Having removed the knight, I can next focus on taking the pawn. The pawn supports the silver, the silver's going to support whatever attacks next. Right, so if I take this back. What are they threatening next? I would like to know. Oh, I have some idea now. Hmm. Oh. Uh oh. Ha! <laughs> All right, well, 
My situation's not going to improve by sitting. But yeah, their center drop bishop is actually pretty interesting. Bishop 5 6. Um, forking the rook and the pawn. Yes. Yep. All right. That's spooky. Um, thankfully, my pawn in the center prevents the rook from smashing in immediately. But, yeah, this is getting dicey. Um, I guess I have to take this. And as I take this, hope that my king can escape to the edge. It's not looking great. Hmm. I could put a knight in the way of their bishop. This could be strange. Maybe I'm fine. This is highly unusual, but I'm not... I would have done the same move or been sorely tempted to do the same. I'm not sure that this is actually the right move. Now that I think more about it. Just because I'm not finding a move here. Let's check my mic. Yeah, mic works. Alright, let me take my lance. So now I could... I don't know what I can do. I could put a knight in the way of their bishop. That's my plan. Oh, uh, yeah, I have to interpose something. Um, So much indecision. I don't know about this move. Like, I'm not sure if I needed the pawn back here somewhere later to deal with their rook. Um, this looks like a free pawn. This could be a free pawn. But, yeah, the point is that if they drop a lance on my edge, I need to do something about it. And bringing their for bishop forward a bit makes it an easier target. Um... But, yeah, I think now I'm going to put my knight here. So again, this pawn is not defended. So possibly that pawn drop I did uh, just a second ago might have been useless. Possibly it might save me later if later I need to bring the silver back with tempo. Um... So what I was imagining is a, a lance drop here, and then my silver retreating, and the lance taking the knight, and I would take the bishop. And maybe I survived that. Whereas if I didn't put the pawn here first, and my silver retreats from a lance, that's not looking so bright. Yes, I had intended a lance drop to deal with this, because I, unless I'm counting incorrectly, there's no way I can give them a gold general at this time. Um, hmm.
Yeah, I really think I can't afford to give them this gold general, even for a rook. I don't know how I'm going to manage to uh, reconstitute my castle, but it has to be done somehow. Or my king has to escape. Yeah, that makes sense too. Um, every piece I use to defend is one I cannot use to attack with. I'm out of pawns. Okay, we're going to try to deal with this bishop a different way. Obviously, this is running some risks, but, um, you know, maybe it works out. Oh, the most damaging risk here is, in fact, if they put a lance hitting my silver and my gold. So, yeah, this retreat doesn't have, actually gain a tempo at all. Um, just encourages them to attack. Okay. Well, that's not good. Um, if that survives, I'm doomed. I. But. I don't really have a choice here. So what's the trick? Interesting. I have one legal move, so let's play it. Oh! Oh, there's a mate. Very nicely done. Good game. Well, wow. all right. Well, that went quickly. So, yeah, this... Uh, I think even if I've spent my full time, this still would have caught me by surprise. Um, I'm just not accustomed to seeing a rook participate like this. It's very clever. <laughs> yeah. That's... that is quite clever. Um... Yeah... This, uh, this whole like third foul versus uh, fifth foul rook. I got the sense that this might be playable, but um, didn't really know where to go with it. Um, I mean, I think this is fine, but yeah. Uh, I 
I do wonder about this. And then they come back, and I, I'm not sure what I do here. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it might be playable. It is, it is very surprising to both of us. Um, so, yeah, we build our castles. I develop my bishop this way. Uh, <sighs> Oh, yeah, okay. There's an interesting thought. Yeah, this here? That's, okay, so I see. Yeah. Um, hmm. Right, so they have to spend a turn moving this. Yeah, that's quite silly of me to have missed this. You would take with the silver. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, so like this here. Um. Oh. That looks very risky. Yeah, um, I'm surprised I'm not finding a way to refute it. Uh, yeah, well. doesn't mean I should win the game, but there's got to be something I can do to greatly improve my position in this strange situation. Um, yeah. I guess I do have all their bishop drops covered. And... Yeah, this actually looks quite strong. So I was not expecting this to happen so early in the game, but it's, yeah, that would have been a very strong way to open the game. Um, normally I am under the impression that third foul rope gets to attack first, but um, here I actually have quite a bit of initiative. Uh, oh, well... Yeah, this... I don't think this works. Yeah. Right, and then we end up here. Just the first thing I was looking at, but... Um, this is actually interesting. I thought this would be strong for me, but it's not. It's actually just confusing. Yeah. Hmm. Pleasant's in the eye of the beholder here. I'm not sure. Um, maybe I have a trick. Uh, yeah, maybe I can just take here. With the idea of this sort of thing. So maybe this is also quite good for me. It's a nice idea. Yeah. 
Yeah. Dang. We missed some fun tactics here. I, <laughs> I was not expecting to have such fun so early in the game. Um, okay, that's just reasonable. Um, hmm. Yeah. It looks playable. It's not the best outcome, but it, this is playable. Huh. It's sad that we had all those other exciting lines, and then this ends up being the best for both players. Um, it's unfortunate, like all the fireworks oh, and its ceremony um, aren't the main line. So... here. There might be other positions where this pawn move is much stronger. It's still good here, but yeah. He's not wrong. Um, I mean, yeah, if he wants... Uh, I don't know if he wants to type more, if I could, or I just wants me to give me the. I cannot speak. I don't know if he wants me to type more, if, or if he wants me to give him control, so he can uh, lead the analysis. Because it could be difficult to explain things in words instead of just showing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, huh? Maybe here I have to do this. During the game, I didn't think this was so interesting, but now that I look more at it. It actually looks fun. Uh, yeah, so... Why did I not do this? I just hit a... Well, I got my proverbs confused. For one thing. Uh, oh, right. I overestimated my bishop drop potential here. I don't have a super strong counter to this. Yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, that hole. Yeah, I guess eventually that will hurt quite a bit. Having two adjacent holes right next to my castle. I've not even completed my castle, so... Yep. Um, yeah, I think this all is reasonable. Um, oh, I should just give him host, because, like, he can show us cool stuff, and I have no idea where to suggest stuff, so... Uh, it makes sense to let him guide us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh... Yeah, I spent some time thinking about this. Uh... Yeah, I... Hmm. 
but somehow I thought this was best. Um, somehow I thought this was okay. Um, yeah, what was I looking at? Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking there would be this fork. Uh, yeah. So I was thinking I was dropping the rook. Um, well, it looks fine. Yes, yeah, so it is harsh, and their rook is more active, but I think it's um, playable. I have to take here. I take here. Uh, unless I have some trick, this is actually challenging to meet. Um, Oh! Oh, well, that's cool. That is clever. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't have a knight. A knight would be nice, but... Um... Yeah, moving that gets me in some trouble. Oh, they have tactics here, don't they? Uh, yeah, that is sharp. Yeah. I mean, this could all be okay, but it's easier to be confident when your king is safe. And I really haven't posed any problems for him. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the main line I was most, or spending half my time looking at. Um, which might might actually be best for me. Mm. Mm. Wonder about it's like this bad. Um what does this look like? I I just don't know. Um, maybe it's bad. Looks tricky. Yeah. We're straight here. Like this? Yeah, it makes sense to use the pieces. Oh, the bishop drop in hand could be scary later. Yeah, that's true. Um, and, like, the center is falling pretty quickly.
So the same considerations apply as in last position where, you know, it just wasn't safe here. Likewise, this is not very safe for me. Um, so I just delayed the inevitable. Um, I couldn't find an attack, and they pretty readily found one. Um, yeah, I missed the fork. If I'd seen the fork, I would have done this instead. Yeah. Yeah. The other way just did not pan out at all. Yeah, this looks pretty, I don't know. That's a pretty decisive fork, if I've seen one. <laughs> like, my one attacking piece and my one defensive piece are forked. And they do say don't run from a fork, but, um, yeah, it's really difficult to do anything useful here. I'm giving up a silver that can immediately be used to attack me. Um, and, yeah... It's just a mess. I understand they have to uh, get some rest, and this was not an ideal match hour for them, so if they do want to go, certainly they're welcome to. But, um... I can't spell maneuver. Oh, it's funny how that second file twice in one game completely destroyed my castle. I guess we get to see a different way to attack Mino Castle this game than we usually see. Um, yeah. Ah, they miscalculated. Uh, I don't know. Is it so bad? Oh. <laughs> He calculated mate, but forgot that he had to drop the bishop as part of the mate sequence. <laughs> yeah. So this gives me one tempo to do a thing, but... Yeah, and then we do try to work bring things back together later, and it just does not at all pan out. Uh, so. Yeah, curiously, this bishop was able to just hover on the crown of my castle with the assistance of their other pieces, and they sacked it, which surprised me, but it was very good still. Um... There might have been some tricky way for me to get out of this, but I did not find it.
there's really no way for me to escape their mating attacks, so um, yeah, I had to defend and defend and defend. Um, and if they get a gold, there's just no way for me to survive that, so I had to defend against the most obvious stuff. Um, my rook really should not be in the corner. I figured that if I were to have any chances to win this game, I'd need the lance. But taking the lance is just not playable. Um, which is to say that, like, this is just lost. Yeah. Oh, and I misread this, too. Yeah, I need to defend here. It's tough, but playable. And I have a pawn. I have three pawns in hand. So I can make something happen. But yeah, I'm about to get dunked on here. Uh. Yeah, just a bit difficult for me to find an attack here. Although, like, here I might end up sacking the rook for a bishop, but then the rook destroys me. So, yeah, it's hard. I mean, yeah, I can do this, but, yeah, then, like, yeah, this is hard. Oh. Well, you wouldn't know it based on our time zones, but I'm the one missing all the tactics, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's, that's clever. So I played this, which might have been reasonable, but my position's still screwed. Uh... Yeah, and then they correctly found the pawn drop, which forces me to just sacrifice rook for silver. Although I do get some material back, but it's just not good. I fought hard. I did my best. My best was not very good this game. Um, but maybe I should be happier about things I did right. Hmm. Yeah, so moving my rook was questionable, but um, my center is collapsing anyway. It would have been very difficult for me to keep that rook on the 8th file, but um, if I could have kept it there and made some threats, that would have been great. Their attack was just very swift and well executed. Um, yeah, so King takes his force to stop that fork. And we can get into that variation where I'm holding on a bit. I do have an interesting attack going, it's just, yeah, I kind of like their attack, it's very swift. If I had not pushed my 7th file pawn so many times, maybe I'd be one tempo faster on my attack. Although I don't know what I'd use the tempo on. I'd want to move the knight like I usually do, but, or maybe bring my gold toward the center, who knows. Yeah, so it's very kind of them to spend their time analyzing the game with me. Uh, cool. I'm sorry if I 
sounded like I was wrapping up numerous times there. I honestly thought um, I did decently respecting his time during the game. Um, so that always weighs on my mind, and maybe it shouldn't when, well, it depends on the match circumstance. Yeah, this was also not necessary, was it? I had another possibility. This could have been interesting. This could have been much more interesting. Uh, who knows? But yeah, in friendly games like this, it weighs on my mind when one player has to accommodate the other player's time zone. Um, but they did just fine this game. Uh, yeah. Leading into this, they played a lot of strong moves, built a solid castle. Didn't push their edge pawn, but didn't need to, because I never got my attack off the ground. Usually you'd push the edge pawn before like building the full Mino over here, but um, somehow this worked out for them. Uh, but yeah, the engine suggests on this pawn drop, uh, and I considered playing this... And somehow I just, what I imagined uh, was pawn drop and then pawn on top of the other pawn. This is what I imagined. Um, and that's part of what scared me. And the other thing was yeah, just having two open files and the threat of this dropping here. It's not something for me to be afraid of, but somehow it spooked me. And the rook covers the 4th rank very effectively here, so I didn't know. Obviously I'm going to build this, not that. I'm going to build... Well, let's just put it on the board, shall we? Um, I'm going to build that, and I don't know what happens next. But it's an interesting position. Maybe it's slightly... I mean, the engine, whatever engine it was, suggested that this is equal because their rook is well placed, both on a good rank and a good file. It's difficult to eject the silver. Um, they don't want to block their own bishop. They don't want to cede any of this control they have. So, yeah, it looks even. I don't see any way for either player to do anything tricky here. Um... If they try to do something which blocks their rook across the rank, my attack becomes swift, or not swift, but it becomes a bit a lot stronger. Um, yeah, I don't know. If the silver were anywhere else, they could do some interesting stuff. That would be a different game, though. I guess the bishop could go back or something to help defend the king's side. Or maybe they could somehow shuffle their generals back here or tuck the king in the corner or something. I don't know. There's got to be some way to solidify this further. Um, it's not like I have a great way to smash through this either. It's an interesting position, interesting game, and yeah, um, look forward to uh, coming up with some more, something more creative next time.